something's wrong with you but you don't know why. You feel as if there is nowhere in the world you can fit, not even your family. It could be because of how you grew up. Maybe you're made to feel like you don't belong, your feelings don't matter, and your inner child might still be hurting and upset. Children are supposed to be loved and protected, and guided in the right direction. Every child deserves a love and a feeling of belonging, but not every child gets that. Self-awareness and acknowledging the pain are the first steps to healing. So, to help you in your self-healing journey, we'll be talking about the signs your inner child is still hurting and upset. 1. Depersonalization or derealization Do you constantly feel like an imposter? As if you're physically present but it's like you're watching life from a distance. Not fully connected to yourself, the world, or the people around you. These are symptoms of depersonalization and derealization, which are mental states of disassociation. In other words, they're mental escapes. Studies have shown that depersonalization is linked with maltreatment during childhood. Having a wounded inner child may make you feel like you're living a false self or that your life has no sense of liveliness. 2. Explosiveness You know how a child throws tantrums, cries, and has angry outbursts over the smallest things? Having an upset inner child may make you react that way well into adulthood. Perhaps other people often call you out for overreacting. You may even get annoyed at yourself too, but these quote-unquote overreactions are caused by unresolved hurt or pain. And having been subjected to this may cause a deep reaction, no matter what age you are. For example, if you often get angry when someone's not paying attention to you, as a child, you probably felt disregarded. This shouldn't be an excuse to remain that way though, if your mood swings happen more often than not, a mental health checkup may be needed. While you're scrolling down there, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. 3. Creative Block Artists are just children who refuse to put down their crayons. But what happens to the children whose crayons are forcefully taken away from them? It's no secret that children often enjoy creative activities. After all, it's a great way to express their natural childlike imagination and sense of adventure. So, if you constantly find yourself facing art block or a lack of motivation and inspiration, there's a good chance you were stifled as a child and prevented from expressing yourself. It may sound counterintuitive, but art itself may be just the solution you need for healing. You can start drawing, singing, dancing, and doing other creative activities that can reconnect you with the imaginative child within. Don't think too much, let go of the pressure, and freely express yourself. 4. Strained Relations A neglected or upset inner child can make it difficult to build healthy relationships with your friends and family. This may result in family tension, feeling rejected, criticized, outcast, or even stuck in an emotionally dependent relationship. Because your inner child doesn't feel at peace, some internal feelings of frustration or resentment may cause you to constantly get into arguments and misunderstandings with those around you. 5. Always seeking approval from others Do you only feel better when people validate you? But once it stops, you feel empty again. When we talk about seeking approval, it's like your inner child always wants a thumbs up or a gold star from others. Your friends, family, or classmates. This stems from a deep desire for words like, you're doing great, or I like you just the way you are. This longing goes back to when you were younger and needed lots of love and care. If you didn't get enough of that back then, your inner child might still feel a bit unsure now. So, if you often find yourself checking if others like what you're doing, it's because your inner child hopes to feel accepted and loved. To tackle the constant need for approval, try acknowledging and appreciating your achievements independently. Cultivate self-love and celebrate your victories, big or small. Remember, you're amazing just as you are and your worth doesn't solely depend on external validation. 6. Regressive Coping Behaviors Sometimes when things get tough or overwhelming, you might notice yourself doing things you used to enjoy when you were younger, like playing with old toys 
watching your favorite childhood shows, or doing hobbies that feel familiar and comforting. It's kind of like finding a cozy spot in your past to escape the stress of adult responsibilities. That is totally normal. But if you catch yourself avoiding adult tasks and responsibilities by escaping to simpler times, that could be a problem. While it's okay to find comfort in the past, it's important to balance it with facing challenges and responsibilities. Instead of escaping, find out why your inner child is hurting and offer the love and care it needs to heal. Understanding the root cause of the pain allows you to address it with compassion and nurture the emotional well-being of your inner self. 7. Difficulty trusting others If during your childhood someone you trusted deeply like a caregiver or a close friend broke promises, tricked you or manipulated you, those experiences can cause lasting pain and hurt that persist into adulthood especially when we suppress them and these feelings are unresolved. When your inner child feels hurt and upset, it puts up a wall, making trusting others a bit tough. Recognizing why your inner child is upset is the first step to healing. Understanding the reasons behind the feelings helps you provide the care and support needed to bring comfort and healing to your inner self. Did you relate to this science? Let us know in the comments. It may seem difficult and tiring. But the most important way to start healing this destructive chain is by acknowledging your inner child and listening to them. To do that, you can watch 5 things your wounded inner child needs to hear right now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.